Nice. Hey guys, so it is uh, Saturday, it is uh, two days later, and now that the body is already in uh, Hagel primer, I can put it to the side and start working on the doors and on the bonnet. And um, hopefully soon they will be in the same stage as the body, and then I will be able to put them to the side until the time comes to spray the color. So, uh, yeah, let me organize the place a little bit. Uh, move everything as it was because on Monday, like I said, we're going to have to reopen the shop for regular business again and I have to put my stuff together again because I spread all over the place now. The chassis is in the other room and uh, stuff like that. So let me reorganize it and we will see what we're going to start working on. Okay? There's crap everywhere. Alright, so uh, this is the passenger side door which we put some body filler on like a week ago or more than a week ago and now we're gonna sand it we'll see if we have to do a little bit more body work here and then gonna flip it and we're gonna work on the outside which is more important but first I wanted to do the inside so We'll start by sanding this. Alright, so here it needs a little bit more. I need to build it a little bit higher here and here in this area. And <clears throat> here it is almost done. Again, there is a little bit of a uh, low area here so everything else uh, and here to let so right here uh. uh oh saying that we need to build a little bit more here and a little bit more here in this area and here we have this area and this area and this area it's a lot for such small uh, area here we have so many things that we have to fix and even here I have to build up a little bit the corner inside well, that's a lot. So, I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna put the bundle here and then I'm gonna come and sand this. Alright, while this is hardening, I'm gonna sand this. Doesn't look bad. So, this was fiberglass though, so now I'm gonna apply a skin coat of uh, body filler, regular body filler to fill up those little things here and the scratches, scratches from the 40 then I'm going to smoothen it with 80 and that's going to be it wow, I like it actually, I like this I remember what it was <laughs> I remember there was a big cut here because I replaced 
a big part of this metal here. Anyways, let me put body filler and we'll keep going. All right, there's body, body filler here. So we're back on this side now again. Well, I don't know how many times we're gonna turn it around. All right, this time I'm happy. It's nice and smooth now and in this part as well. So with the top of the door, the inner top, we are done. So I'm gonna sand this one more time with 80 and we'll see. If, I hope that's gonna be the last for the inside of the door. All right, we are done. Looks great. Here where you see the white lines, these are not scratches, these are the scratches on the fiberglass from the 40 grit and now they are filled up with body filler so that's why they look like scratches but they are not. It's nice and smooth now, you can never tell that this door has been cut here, right? Well you can because you've seen it cut. <laughs> Alright, so finally We can come on this side of the door. Oh my god. And here it's a little mess. <laughs> I know. Here we had another cut like this, you remember? Like this and like this. So let's see how much body filler we'll need here. Well, first I'm gonna sand it and then we're gonna see what we need and where. We can tell right away where the high spots are and that's gonna be it. I don't think we can do anything better here. I remember I tried to pull this out. You see where I have the I still have the dots from the stinger and couldn't pull them out better than that so I'm just gonna fill it up with body filler unfortunately I can't do more than that yeah so this part is clear we know that we need a lot of body filler here well not a lot but we need a bucket or two and for the rest of the door luckily we don't need too much like here, I can see some low spots here and here, a little bit here. Here this edge is disappearing, so we will have to build it on this side and this side as well, so we can raise it up a little bit. Here there is a low spot that I can feel, literally I can feel it with my hand. And, oops, sorry. Sorry guys, sorry. Here there is a very big low spot, which is not that low, but it's uh, lower than here and here. There's maybe just a skim we need of body filler here. This I think I modified a little bit. If I remember well, I had to push this down. I don't remember what I did. I think I cut it here or something. I pushed, I don't remember, but I had to change this bow for the, to match the body. And this is where I need a little bit of body filler. And a little bit here I remember I cut a patch here and replaced so here now I need a little bit of body filler these were high but now I hammered them a little bit down so they are low now and this is where the mirror is so I'm not gonna touch this and yeah so I think uh, yeah let me apply body filler and we'll go from there for here for here I'm gonna do fiberglass first because it's a big layer and actually I'm gonna have to so it has a little bit of tooth for the body fillers to uh, stick to alright let's see how smooth did I apply Well, it's pretty obvious I need a little bit more. But now, from here, I'm gonna go already with uh, regular body filler. 
Okay, I'm gonna apply body filler here, then we're gonna jump on the higher part. All right, so a little bit of body filler more added, and now we're gonna start working on this side here, on the higher side. Did you hear that? Oh, okay, maybe it was my imagination. All right, so like I said, we're gonna start working on this side now, and. Something's wrong with my eyes, guys. I think it's time to go home. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Oh. <sighs> That's better. That's much better. Alright, guys. New day. Oh, that's much better now. <laughs> I like that. Alright, so. New day. Now I guess this is this has cured too, so maybe I should start with this. I was planning to start here, but let's leave this until we finish here, maybe. All right, it doesn't look bad. The thing is though, I think this part here is way too high. I thought that was my limit, but well, actually it needs to go lower here and this part as well because let me show you from the side maybe I don't know how well you can see but it looks like this is a little bit too high and what I did I went and I took the shape with my gauge from the body of the car which supposedly has the same shape right and that's the shape and here if you can see it is rocking on this uh, high part here it is perfect here it is still a little high this uh, bare metal and here it is rocking on the bare metal too but here it is perfect so i was thinking that i have to build more here in the low areas but it turns out i, I actually have to bring this uh, high areas down so i'm gonna pull out the shrinking disc and I'm gonna do that right I think it worked great here now I think we are perfect now here it took a while like uh, you have to shrink a little bit here a little bit there then a bump remains somewhere so you find it and shrink it but the thing is the good thing is that the disc is flat so it finds the high spots automatically on its own well I think here it is a little bit still a little bit too high but I need to sand it now because now my body filler here is too high so I have to sand this a little bit but uh, I'll finish with shrinking first and then uh, go, I'm gonna go back to sanding so going this way I think we are fine everywhere now except the last area of course so here it starts rocking again on the bare metal see so here we have to work a little bit too Did you hear that? I like this sound. <laughs> Shows me that something is happening. And now I can feel it. I can feel this is low, this is high. So just keep chasing the high. And I can even feel it with my disc, with my shrinking disc, when it goes down and when it goes up.
All right, I ended up shrinking a little bit here as well, but now I'm really happy with the entire shape. Of course, now I have lows and highs and everything, but, but they are just little dots here and there. The shape though is nice and straight. So now I'm just gonna put another coat of body filler. I ended up removing most of the body filler. You see the bondo is almost gone. Just the fiberglass is still there. So that's good because the less we have the better, right? So I'm gonna put another coat of body filler now and then we're gonna sand it down until we start reaching bare metal and hopefully that's gonna be everything for here. All right, applied some bondo but uh, I kept touching it and it started hardening and I ruined it over there and somewhere here so anyways looks like I'm gonna have to apply a little bit more later but we'll see most of it should come out anyway so we will see now I'm gonna sand finally this other part all right so here's what we have this here is perfect where the low spots there were like two little low spots here they are fine now just needs a little bit more sanding here to feather this edge here we need a little bit more and of course here a little bit around the edge here where we have this bare metal the area next to the bare metal i guess this area is low and I applied some more, some body filler here before, but uh, I didn't have enough, so it wasn't enough. So now we're gonna put a little bit more here, but that's other than that here we are fine. This needs to be feathered. This uh, sharp line is gonna disappear. This is not low here. It's just need, it just need just needs more sanding here. It needs a little bit more here, 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 and here, and. Um, here we are pretty good except of this edge where it's a little bit low and um, and here we are fine so not that much required actually just a little bit I'm happy with the higher part of the door so I'm gonna put body filler here and we're gonna go back to the lower area okay so I put body filler wherever I needed to put and we're back this area I was looking forward to that so I'm gonna use 40 again because obviously we're gonna have to do another skim coat later because I ruined it before exactly as expected Everything is nice and smooth except these areas where I screwed it up with the, when it started hardening. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do with the, the corner of the block, I'm gonna get rid of this because I don't want to have any air bubbles underneath the, the top layer of uh, body filler. So I'm gonna try to get rid of these. digging into my own bodywork, you see. I think that's going to be a long video, huh? Okay, I think that's fine. Another layer of body filler coming. Right, we're close, I think. Uh, I, I hope this is the final coat of body filler here in this area. And even in this area, let me sand this now and hopefully we're not gonna need any more. All right, I'm stupid. <laughs> ah, just turn the camera on to say I'm done. And look, there's a big 
big dent here that I never saw. Imagine. Oh my god. Anyway, so I turned the camera on to say I'm done, except of this uh, straight line here, which I didn't touch so far. I purposely kept my block always parallel to this line, so I was basically making it sharp every time I was working around it. Like here, for example, that's really sharp. And now this dough helps me to uh, make sure that this line is straight. The sharper it is, the easier it is to, to make sure it's straight. And now that I know that it is straight, because when it looks like this, it, it looks perfect, now I'm gonna round it. Basically here I'm gonna go down to bare metal, of course, but there uh, I'm gonna just keep going with my block. Since I'm using here the bare metal as a guide, this should become the same shape, right? Alright, so I thought that was going to be the last process on this door, but actually now I have to do this thing, and I also noticed uh, this here, this is a uh, scratch, I don't know how come. So it looks like I still have to do a little bit of bodywork, <laughs> but here, this is perfect. Here, oh my god, I'm, I'm surprised I managed to make it so nice and straight. So, yeah, anyways, let me do this and this and I'm gonna come back for the ending of this video. Alright, so the door is done and I was cleaning and you can see how much body filler I put on the door and I took it off. That's a lot. And that's without counting the kilo or two in my lungs. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm wearing my mask at all times. Alright, so one door is done, we have one more. Good thing the car is not four door, right? It's only two door. And um, yeah, after the second door, we're gonna do the bonnet. And it's a big thing, it's half a car, but uh, I think it is pretty straight, so, we, so there shouldn't be too much trouble, but I shouldn't say that, you know? Hopefully everything is gonna be nice and smooth there, and in a few days or weeks, I'm gonna be ready with the bodywork because, to be honest, I started to get bored uh, by bodywork. On, I'm uh, looking forward to engine work and uh, suspension again and those uh, more interesting things. For now, you know, when you do, when you keep doing something for a long time, it becomes boring. So I know that that's gonna become boring at some point too. But uh, then we're gonna come back to the body and then we're gonna spray it and. Uh, and yeah, so we're gonna keep the diversity of the jobs going here. So I don't get bored and you don't get bored too. So it is Sunday, it's uh, January 6th, and tomorrow is uh, our first official working day here. Unfortunately, and, or fortunately, we'll have to get to our day job during the day and we're gonna be working. We're gonna keep working on this baby after hours of course. So two weeks vacation are over and now we have to get back to work. Okay, so thanks for watching guys. See you in my next video and for me it's beer time. Bye.